Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing our flight back to Ireland. We arrived at the airport four hours early, but there was already a long line at the check-in counter. This is our first time traveling back to Ireland with the dog, so we didn't know if we needed to go to the PAI stall at the airport or go straight to the check-in desk. Fortunately, the staff we talked to told us that passengers traveling with pets are considered priority here in Manila, so we got to skip the long line and we were redirected to the line for special assistance. Checking in was quite easy. We just needed to present Monty's documents and the PAI export permit. We had to provide both the original and photocopies of the required documents. He also checked his weight and after everything was approved, we were good to go. Because we were traveling with a dog in the cabin, we got to board the plane first. Mochi is usually well behaved when traveling, but because we were on an 11 hour flight, we still wanted to prepare him. We chose a late flight time so he could just be asleep for the entire flight. While the other passengers boarded the plane, we spent our time petting him and making sure he was okay. When the plane was almost full, we put Mochi back inside his travel carrier. He was already asleep when the plane took off because we made sure to tire him out before our flight. A few hours into the flight, he woke up. The flight attendants were very kind. They kept asking us if we needed anything from Mochi. We've flown with Mochi before so we know not to feed him or make him drink anything during the flight. But it was really stuffy and warm inside the cabin so we gave him some ice cubes. From this video, you can see he was relieved to finally drink something. During this time, we were also 2 hours away from our stopover in Turkey, which meant that he won't have to wait for long to go potty. We had a 2 hour layover in Turkey compared to our last trip so we didn't have time to roam around and go to the pet relief room. Good thing the fresh air terrace which is the non-smoking outdoor garden was located near our boarding gate. To make things easier and faster for us, we just let Mochi walk with us so he can stretch his legs after such a long haul flight and so that he can go potty in the outdoor garden when we pass by it. Mochi understood that we were in a rush so he potted as soon as we got to the outdoor garden. He was wearing a snappy so we didn't need a mess here. On our flight from Turkey to Manila, we got priority boarding because we were traveling with a pet. But we weren't allowed priority boarding on our return from Turkey to Dublin. It's important to always ask the flight crew of their pet policies when you board the plane to avoid any confusion especially if it's your first time traveling with a pet in cabin. Mochi was awake during takeoff this time, but because he's an experienced flyer, he was calm and quiet for the takeoff.
Yes, but only for a few minutes and only when they're not looking. Pets traveling in cabin must stay in their carriers and stored under the seat in front of you at all times, which is quite unfair for pets traveling along our front. But we were grateful the flight crew were kind to us and allowed us to check in and watch it. Immigration and baggage collection, we looked for the compliance check desk. We actually didn't have to look far because it was located on the left side before the exit gate. You have to give notice of your arrival with your pet a few days before. I'll provide the link to the arrival form in the description box below. During the compliance check, the staff will ask for your pet's passport and documents, especially the export permit from the country of origin. After checking the documents, they will scan your pet's market chip for confirmation. They will ask for the 50 euro compliance yeah. check fee and when they have checked everything, they will sign and stamp the back of the pet passport to confirm your pet's re-entry to Ireland. This was our first time to go through something like this, so we were scared once we wouldn't be approved entry back to Ireland because we were arriving from a non-EU country. But everything actually turned out fine because we had everything prepared beforehand. Now that we have experienced traveling a long-haul flight with Monty mm -hmm. to the Philippines, our next travels will be so much easier. Can't wait to travel again and go back.